Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to start our new data engineer interview series. As part of this series, we are going to cover all the common question which is generally asked in data engineer interview. So let's start. Our first question is like, what is the difference between the data warehouse and data lake? And this kind of the question generally you will see in interview to check your basic. This is a very basic question, but to check your basic whether you are aware about data warehouse, whether you are aware about data lake or not, they generally try to ask. So let's understand what is the difference between a data warehouse and data lake. So data warehouse and data lake both we use to store a large amount of data. To store a large amount of data, we use a data warehouse as well as a, a data lake. Now, when we are saying a large data for both, then what is the actual difference between the data warehouse and the data lake? Let's understand. So, let's start with the data warehouse. In the case of the data warehouse, we generally store a structured data. What actually we do? We try to store a structured data, mostly tabular data, mostly tabular data in the case of the data warehouse. But in the case of the data lake, right, we try to store a structured data. We also try to store a unstructured data. We try to store a semi-structured data. Means all the kind of the data we try to store in a data lake. So that is the difference you have to remember. In the case of the data warehouse, we store a structured tabular data. But in the case of the data lake, we store a structured, unstructured, semi-structured data. When, when I'm saying unstructured means, right, it can be an image, it can be video, any kind of the data we try to store in a data lake. Now, the next thing is, in the case of the data warehouse, right, we try to process a data. We try to process a data before loading into the system. We try to process a data before loading into the data warehouse. In the case of data warehouse, we try to process the data. We try to clean the data. We try to transform a data before loading into the system. But in the case of the data lake, right, we directly load a data. Without processing, we try to load a we load a data without processing in the case of the data lake. That is the thing you have to remember. In the case of the data warehouse, we try to process, we try to clean our data before loading into the data warehouse. But in the case of the data lake, right, we try to load a data as it is. So if it is coming as a raw format, right, whatever the format, we try to load a data into the data lake. Now, the next thing you have to remember about the data warehouse. In a data warehouse, generally we follow a ETL process. But in the case of the data lake, right, we follow a ELT process. When I'm saying a ETL and ELT means, right, so let's understand the ETL. So generally, if you'll see in organization, right, your data will be available in a multiple system, multiple source. It can be a data lake, it can be a, a database, multiple database, your data will be available. Now what you have to do, generally you have to get the data into the common place. So suppose your uh, customer related data is available in a cloud. Suppose your data, uh, uh, suppose another data is available in your Postgre database. Suppose few data is available in a SQL servers. Like that the multiple places your data is available. Now what you have to do, you have to get the data in a common place, right? So in the case of the ETL, what we do, we try to extract the data which is available in a multiple, so multiple places. And after that we apply a transformation. We try apply a transformation means we do some kind of the cleaning you can say we apply a some kind of the transformation and then finally we try to load a data and then finally we load a data in the case of the uh, data warehouse means we follow a e e etl process we follow a etl process but in the case of the data lake right we follow a elt process so what generally we do whatever the data is available in the multiple source right we directly try to load a data in the case of the data lake in the case of the in the case of the uh, data lake, whatever is available in the multiple source, right? We try to extract and we try to load into the data lake. And then later we try to perform a transform and the cleaning operation. So that is the thing you have to remember. So data warehouse, we follow a ETL process. In the data lake, we follow a ELT process. Now in the case of the data warehouse, right? We generally use for the reporting. We generally this use for the reporting so that we try to process, we try to clean our data before loading. So this, so that we can use it for the reporting like any kind of the BI report or any kind of the uh, Tableau report you had to build, right? So if for that purpose, generally we use a data warehouse. But in the case of the data lake, right? We directly load the data in a raw format. So from a 
query perspective, it is not that suitable. Uh, but in the case of the data warehouse, proper cleaning and proper optimization on a proper structure, we try, we try to load the data so that we can use for the reporting. But in the case of the data lake, we try to store the data as it is, right? So this is not optimized for the query. That is the thing you have to remember for the data lake. So these are the common thing which you should understand. You should know about the data warehouse and the data lake. So what generally happen in a company let me explain you in the case of the data warehouse right so suppose you are working in any retail company suppose i am working in a retail company i have uh, some customer related data so this is my customer related data i have some product related data i have some uh, campaign marketing related data so this other data is available in a uh, in a system now what i have to do as a business as a product manager whatever the data is available right I want to analyze that. So whatever the data is available, right? What I will do, I will try to clean the data and finally I will try to load into the data warehouse. Now, based on this, whatever the data warehouse, we have loaded the data, right? Based on this, we will try to build a report. We will try to build a different kind of the report. Like how your sales is happening. Sales is happening week over week, month over month. How your product is uh, behaving, like which product is getting sold more, we, on which particular country this product demand is more. So this kind of the analysis generally I want to do. So in that case, what actually we use a data warehouse generally we use where actually we try to get the data, we try to clean our data, we try to load into a data warehouse and finally we try to build a, this kind of the reporting. Now coming to the data lake. In the data lake, what actually we do? Whatever the data is coming right from a different system, first we try to load a data. So suppose you are not aware like how this data will be utilized. So what actually you want to do? Whatever the data is coming from a different system, right? First you want to store in a common space. So I want to first store the data. Now later, based on the some use cases, suppose you are working in a healthcare. Suppose I am working in a healthcare. Now whatever the healthcare data is coming, right? I will try to store into the common. Now later, suppose I have to do some predictive modeling. Suppose I have to do some prediction based on this data. So based on that, uh, after that, uh, we will try to perform some transform and we will try to do some kind of the analysis. So that's how actually it happens in our case of the data lake. But in the case of the data warehouse, uh, we generally aware like what kind of the reporting we are going to build. So that is the thing you have to remember. Now let's quickly go through the uh, theory. So a data warehouse store a structured data. Data is generally organize and clean before loading into the system. In the case of the uh, data warehouse, we try to store the data in the form of the tabular format like rows and the column. Now next thing you have to remember, data warehouse is a free process and optimized for the query and the reporting. Now coming to the data lake, data lake, we generally store the unstructured and the semi-structured data. This could include database, image, audio file, any kind of the data. Data is stored in the raw format. So these are the common thing which you should uh, remember. I hope you got it. What is the difference between the data warehouse and data lake?